All right. <laughs> so, first of all, introduce yourselves. <laughs> we are Kevin and Ruth from Canada. And Yorana, travel blog. And we operate a travel blog at www.travelwithkevinandruth.com. So, why did he choose to come to Moldova? Because we found a good price on an airfare to Bucharest. And originally we thought that we would spend more time in Moldova because we had to the Schengen visa uh, problem and not spending so much time in Spain and France and Italy. But then we found out that Romania wasn't part of the Schengen visa. Right. So we split our time then between the two countries. Mm -hmm. Right. And so when we were originally looking at Moldova, we started doing research and found out that hardly anybody comes to Moldova. And we like to go to countries where there is a little bit more off the beaten path and so that we can tell people about these countries back home. What do you hear about Moldova? Well, it was from checking on the internet, wasn't it? Doing the research when we were looking at Romania and the countries around, and that's when we realized yeah, we about we started Moldova. looking at the other countries that were around Romania and trying to figure out where we could spend more time, and Romania was the country that, or Moldova was the country that kept on coming up. What exactly you want to find out from this trip? Well, of course, there's some uh, interesting history to Moldova, and being from North America, people are always curious about the communist countries and how things used to happen 20 or 30 years ago uh, before Moldova became an independent country. So that was part of it, was the history we wanted to learn about. And of course, Moldova has really good wine. All right. So why did you choose to visit Transnistria as well? Uh, definitely because of the history. Um, it's a place that most people in North America have never heard of. And to be honest, before I started doing the research, I had never heard of it. But when I started reading the stories about it and how it's kind of stuck in the past and is still more related to Russia than, than the Western countries, we were curious. So, and we were this close, so And we were not? this close, of course. All right, but um, um, I wanted to tell you something. Impressions from your trip overall from at this point? How long is your trip, by the way? So we will spend a total of two weeks in Moldova and the Transnistria region of Moldova. And we have been four weeks in Romania. Mm -hmm. Okay, impressions from your trip? Well, I would like to have come back or be able to come back in the summertime. I think it would be beautiful so in the summertime. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But we're still enjoying it. But it's very safe. It's very inexpensive. We've never, ever felt unsafe. No. The people are friendly if you can communicate with them, which is sometimes difficult, but we've learned that <laughs> a, lot even, of, a lot of the younger people speak a little bit yeah, of English. But even with you, when you can't, you can smile and uh, of sign course. language. <laughs> I wanted to tell about uh, the fact that Transnistria region in uh, US travel uh, agency.gov site. It is um, specified for U.S. citizens that um, this region is not safe for you Americans to travel to. But we're not Americans. But we're not Americans. <laughs> yeah, well... And I'm pretty sure the Canadian website says yeah. the same thing. Yes. But, this but water... then the, the, the Canadian, the American website many times tells you that Mexico isn't safe. and We, we, know, have... we know better than that. Mm -hmm. So... Um, why should tourists choose Moldova? Inexpensive prices. For most. For most. For almost everything. For instance? Uh, you can buy good wine for under $3 a bottle. Um, fruits and vegetables are very inexpensive. Like how much? Plus or know. minus. Mostly because I, not everybody drinks wine, you know. Yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> but vegetables, I just... I don't know how to describe, but it's it's very inexpensive compared to Canadian okay. or yeah. American prices. And they're so much fresher and so much better than... Yeah, they come right out of the ground. They still have dirt on them. <laughs> All right. Thank you.